The country music world is feeling a big loss. Singer and songwriter Toby Keith has died after a battle with stomach cancer. NBC's Ann Thompson reports on his career and legacy. This morning, the country music world mourning one of its brightest stars. I ain't as good as I once was. Toby Keith passing away Monday night at the age of 62 after a battle with stomach cancer. A statement posted on his Instagram page saying the singer fought his fight with grace and courage. I should have been a cowboy. Keith, a former oil derrick worker from Oklahoma, first topped the country charts in the 1990s with hits like Should Have Been a Cowboy and How Do You Like Me Now? How do you like me now? Later, he got the world's attention with his smash, courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Brought to you courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Keith telling today in 2019 about the impact of performing his patriotic songs on USO tours. Every one of them is important and made so many friends. And he continued with hit after hit, getting a new audience with Red Solo Cup in 2011. Red Solo Cup, uh -huh. I fill you up, let's have a party. And performing at former President Trump's inauguration. An unstoppable force in country music, Keith has over 5,000 songs in his catalog, 42 top 10 country hits, and has sold more than 40 million albums. He stopped by today, in America. speaking about the legacy he wants in 2010. The longevity is the last goal I have, just staying around. Hmm. I, I really admire Willie and Merle and those guys yeah. who have been around for four or five decades. In the summer of 2022, Keith shocked many fans by revealing his stomach cancer diagnosis, writing, I've spent the last six months receiving chemo, radiation, and surgery. So far, so good. Well, Speaking out well, about his battle as recently as this uh, year. This is a roller coaster, and it takes a little while to get your brain wrapped around it. You can't let it define you know, your future. But he continued to perform, including at the People's Choice Awards, where he was honored in September. Don't let the old man in. And accepted the Country Icon Award to a standing ovation. That was Ann Thompson reporting.